The new school year has begun, which means trouble, some homework, and difficult lessons. But it doesn't have to be that way. Here to tell us about arts integrated education is Deb Lombard. She is the artistic director of Motion Lab SRQ. What is arts integrated lessons, Deb? Yes. An arts integration lesson is an approach to teaching where the student demonstrates their understanding of the lesson through an art form. So for example, if we wanted to do a common core activity, math, science, language arts, uh, they're going to learn that and then they're going to show us a solution through an art form. Wow. So, so that's an arts that. integrated <laughs> lesson? That's an arts integrated lesson. It has two forms. You do the art form and then you do the common core. We're addressing two activities. It looks Why like they're dancing that? right here. Is that because you can learn better if you m use your body? Yeah, through all the art forms, art, dance, drama, um, music, the student is engaged. Well, and it's got to make Common Core more appealing, right? I was going to say Fun. that. It, it makes, makes um, learning exciting. Well, is show us. Saying? I don't get this. Oh, I would love show to us. show you. <laughs> all right, so we're going to start out by learning levels. One of the concepts in dance we're going to work on uh-oh. Is shapes. <coughs> okay. Shape, uh -oh, shape okay. is a basic element of dance. So shape is a design that the, you make with your body. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you guys are going to start out by making a shape at a level 10. And 10 is as high as you can go. All right. So we're... Go so level 10? Level 10. We like make, level 10. Just make a high shape. Mm. Let's make the number one. 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 So there's a high shape. And, and 10, you can't go off the floor. You're as high as you can go staying on the floor. Okay. All right. So let's make a scary shape in a five. <coughs> Where do you think a five would five. be? A scary five shape. Oh, yes. Mid. Mid-level. Excellent. These guys are, oh, we had an Olympic theme, so they're You've diving off the this board. Before. This is a <laughs> ten. Said, this is a five. I do homework every night, Lulu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little is five. Floor yeah. is zero. What are you afraid of here? You were in a scary shape. I'm afraid of the deep, dark water. <laughs> ah, all right. All right. So let's freeze. Can you show me the number seven? Any level you want. Freeze in the shape of a seven. <laughs> The number Excellent. seven. The number seven. Look like a seven. Yeah. And this is. <laughs> this Don't is. Yes. Wait, this this is, is your. I got it. I got it. None of us look alike. <laughs> that, and you know what? And that's your artistic interpretation. Oh. So there's no wrong or right. It's your artistic interpretation of a seven. So here's what we're if going I to wrote do. That seven, so you look ridiculous. You ladies can sit down for a minute. Okay. Bobette and I are going to demonstrate <coughs> this next not? activity. This is called Artist Play-Doh. I'm the artist. Okay. You're the Play-Doh. So you're just a blob. You have no brain. That's it. You're just a blob. <laughs> I've heard that before. Yep. <laughs> you're going to move however I put you. Okay. So if I move your arm here, you're going to stay there. Now, let's say you don't like to touch people. Mm -hmm. So you can also do this. Also you can be a problem. marionette, so there's strings here, so I can just pull your arm up Ooh. this way oh. and over. Because some people don't like to touch. I've had that problem. Oh, she's too. good. All right. <laughs> so now we want you to go down, just down a little. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to touch her. This will be easier. You can oh, come up geez. just a little bit. Okay. Put one foot in front. How your quads Great. feel? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I got sure a little quick exercise. All right. Now, once you get your shape the way you want it, you're uh -huh. going to do three things. Uh -huh. You're going to zap it. Zap. So that means she has to freeze. You're going to gallop around it, but you ladies have on high heels, so I thought we'd strut Ooh. around. This is the advanced level. Uh -huh. And then you're going to copy it. OK, so you, they walk, and then they do it too. They zap, as walk, long as it's just not me zap, over here. walk, and copy. Now it's my turn. OK. Now I'm the Play-Doh, you're the artist. So Deb, what oh. are they learning from this? What are the Right now they're learning a dance can concept. They're learning okay. about shapes. Never mind. OK. Shapes that the body can make. So I, now you would be the artist and I'm the Play-Doh, but let's just move on. So you two are partners and now you two are partners. Right, come on, Steph. So let's see, Scared you're her. the I'm artist. Play -Doh and you. Okay. And you're the Play-Doh. Okay. Okay, so we're not oh, trying she's to make numbers here. Not trying to make numbers. Whatever right now we're going to start out with a shape. So there's three things you're going to do once you get the shape really? the way you want yes. it. Yes, I like it. Bed. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, oh, look how low she has Lulu. Whoa, I got to get her up. Wow. Now, remember, you have, to, <laughs> you have to zap it. Zap. Oh, zap. Now you have to zap. prance around Oh, it. I forgot I've got to do this. You. Lulu, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lulu, my quads hurt. <laughs> all right, all right, quickly. Heels. These ladies are slow prancers. Now, oh okay. now you're going, going, you're going oh, to so copy so You so have so to so copy it. You have to copy it. Okay, now once your shape is copied, we're going to reverse it. You are now the, okay. the Play-Doh. Now you're going to make a number up, for me. Up, up, oh, okay. Make a number, a number out of your partner. Well, I, want and you to, I make a number out of her. Yeah. This is a okay. 
This is the kindergarten oh, through gosh. second grade. Uh -oh. oh, we're doing that. Okay, we're going with one. We move one. out of the way. But go like this. Uh, <laughs> I don't usually get these kinds of. <laughs> That's an eight. That's an eight. That's an eight. This is an eight oh. after rum. <laughs> what does she have on you? <laughs> What, what oh, number do we have here? It's a one. It's a one. Okay. We're All right. There we go. This is a kindergarten through second grade activity. <laughs> All right. So now we're moving in. Now we're going to mix. We're going to take it to our math concepts, which is fluency. I got to get my life. Which is a common core um, requirement. Mm -hmm. Fluency is the ability to add and subtract slowly. Um, quickly, not slowly. Oh, I, can I can do it slow. It's quickly. <laughs> There's the problem. So uh, we're going to work with the numbers 1 through 20. Okay. I am going to give you a problem. You're going to talk with your partner. Once you get the solution, you're going to show me the solution oh, with your with bodies. Your bodies. Okay. Can we use both our bodies? Okay. If we only the, have, we only if, have time for one, so let's try to get it. Okay, then I'm going to do 11 plus 11. Don't yell the answer okay. out. Just make it with your partner. 11. Oh. This is not attractive. I don't think this is a two, though. What is that? That's not a two. That's not a two. Is it over your head? Oh, we have different. This one over your head. This one over my head. There you go. Like in a curve. In a curve, like a head. All right. 22. Excellent job. We did it. All right. Don't ever take that shot again. <laughs> At least we didn't have to we'll play on that one. Down. I like it. I think a lot of kids will get excited about learning. I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, that was interesting. Ed, explore SRQ for more information on this. It does make learning fun. It You've got to try this at home.